In this video, we'll be looking at the determination of freeze-drying critical temperatures which we will need to use later on in cycle development. The freeze-drying microscope requires liquid nitrogen to cool the sample, so we'll need to fill the dewer with sufficient liquid nitrogen to conduct the entire analysis. To begin, we'll need to move the optics out of the way so that we can gain access to the sample. Then we'll need to unscrew the stage window and place it on the side. If you haven't done so already, unscrew the front and load in the XY manipulator ring and secure. Next we'll need to add a drop of silicon oil to provide an even thermal contact with the block. On top of this we are going to place the quartz slide ensuring there are no air bubbles in the oil below as this will affect heat transfer into the sample. Around this we place the 70 micron thick aluminium spacer and this is then sealed with a glass cover slip which goes on. The sample should not be in contact with the spacer or the edge of the cover slip or it is likely to spread around as a result of the surface tension and that again will affect the thickness uniformity. Finally, we need to replace the chamber door, screwing only hand tight, then placing the vent from the nitrogen pump into the hole surrounding the window. This prevents the build-up of condensation that may obstruct our view. This completes the loading of the sample and we're now free to conduct the analysis.